Okay guys, today we got a weird one. We're gonna check out some new stuff. New line of rounds here. The Inceptor from ARX. It's a self-defense round. And you're probably looking at it laughing. Going, what the hell did Scuba get a hold of? You guys ought to look this up and read up on it. Pretty awesome the way this round works. This round is not a hollow point. It is a solid round. And it's made of compressed copper tungsten and something. I, I could be wrong there. Look it up on the site. I know there's copper and, and some kind of polymers. And it is compressed together. It's injected, molded, and compressed. And if you guys can see there, kind of looks like a, I guess better word would be like a blade on a boat or something. Like a propeller or something. And the way this works is when it hits the tissue... It uses rotational and directional force to create a wound channel. So you don't have to worry about barriers like heavy clothing or anything clogging this or basically defeating the round. This round is going to go in and use directional and rotational force to create a wicked wound channel. The best way the guy described it to me on the phone was imagine putting... To propel her down in the water on like a trolling motor. The minute it hits the water, it creates this force. And it makes a, a wide wound cavity. Well, that's what this round's going to do. It's going. It, supposedly, it's supposed to hit and create a pretty, pretty devastating wound cavity. Now, this is compressed, so therefore it's very lightweight. Let's find that on the box there. This is only 56 grain. Now, we're in a lightweight category to begin with. We're in a 380 territory. 56 grain, but where they come up and beat this is with 1,150 feet per second in velocity. So this bullet's going to be humming along singing a song when it hits. So let's get it checked out. I've seen some other videos from the manufacturer. I'm impressed with what I've seen. Now, let's test it ourselves and see what we can see. Let's check it out, guys. Okay, guys, here we go with that 56 grain ARX round. Let's check this out. I can't wait to see this, guys. Right there in the gel. Let's go check it out. Okay guys, you can see where that 56 grain ARX round went in, right there at the beginning. Went through denim, remember this is not a hollow point, but all the denim is just out of the way by the one inch mark. And then look at this wound track. It's twirling in, rotational, directional, all that stuff. I'm trying to let you guys see how wide this thing is. Pretty wide there. Going in, that's pretty good trauma right there. Now you can see I'm using organic gel. I used organic gel so we can also see the temporary cavity in this also. It's hard to see in that clear ballistics. But look at that. Good two and a half inches wide. Cutting through there. Comes in and then in one of the twirling patterns... It starts to deviate. Now, you guys have to understand, this block has been flipped back up. This was what was sitting on the table, this side right here. So the shot was, it wasn't that low. It was, it was low in the gel. But as you can see, the bullet, at this point, let me move you on down so you can see. We get the right about that six inch mark right in there. And you can see the wound track kind of comes off course a little bit it starts to angle and the way you guys are looking at it looks like it's angling up actually that would have been down at that point and it angles down and it gets to about that nine inch spot let me guys let me get you down to nine nine's right there where that crease is and then it flatlines once it flatlined it's still projected on a downward angle and then literally it was right here in the gel and you can see obviously this round is not designed 
to peel back or anything. It looks just like it was when I shot it. But it only went 12 inches. So we got 12 inches penetration through four layers of denim in the calibrated gel with no expansion, only using directional and rotational force. And this is the wound track that we're getting. It's kind of hard to believe that basically a round nose with these special cuts designed in them produced this wound track right here. And that wound track, I'm not going to say it's massive, but it's pretty damn awesome out of a 56 grain 380. And what's even funnier is how all of the denim didn't even go past the one inch mark. As soon as that round went in, it dumped all the denim right there. And then all of a sudden, right at about one and a half, you see this wound track develop. And it's pretty decent looking wound track. From there over to here, about two and a half, just cutting in there. And then all the way down to 12 inches, exactly, that nose was exactly at 12 inches penetration. It's pretty wicked, guys. Obviously, we're going to shoot a couple more of these just to find out what else is going on with them. But that's a wound track right there. That is a pretty decent wound track. Basically from about the one and a half. Follow that all the way down. You get about nine is where it streamlines. That's up there with some of the better hollow points. A compressed round like that. Obviously people still have fireworks right now. 12 inches penetration. I'll get weights and measure. I mean, measurements are all going to be the same. You guys see it right there, 12 inches. I'm sure the weight's spot on 56. Nothing's deformed out of this. So we might call it here or I'll figure out something. Let me see if I can get a side cut of this. You guys, have a good one. Okay, guys, we're going to shoot another one of those ARX rounds. This time, bear gel. Just want to see if any of that stuff changes a bit. With no, let's check it out. Let's check it out. Bear gel, the ARX non-hollow point defense round. Well, you guys caught all that on camera. That's for dang sure. Let's check it out. Okay, I'm going to fire a third one. That one, I think, was a little too close to the edge. It looks like it exited right here. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to find that, but let's give it a third shot. But that wound track's badass. I'm going to put this one right in the center low. You probably won't be able to see much right in the video. Definitely caught that one, I can see it. This produces a pretty badass wound track. You can see it right there. Let's check it out. Okay guys, there's that second shot into the bear gel right there. You can see that the wound track is just as massive as the first one. That directional and rotational force really puts a whopping on this gel. Unfortunately, I think I shot too close to the edge, and it came out on the side. And it's laying back there somewhere. I haven't found it yet. I'm still looking. So then I fired a third shot. Now this one I think I'm going to have to cut away so you guys can see. So hang on one second. Okay, guys, there's that side cut of that third shot. That one stayed in the gel. You guys can see right there. It's going to be hard to see the ruler on this one. I'm just going to give you the ruler for perspective and then back up to the gel. About a half an inch. I can't call it expansion. Rotational and directional force is causing this massive channel right here to develop instantly. I mean, it's, there's no delay. It, it's like, boom, as soon as it hits, starts hitting with the hydraulic motion or whatever you wanna call it. Voila, there's your wound track. And it develops and keeps going. 
at this point right here this is six inches right here now you got to take an account for the angle there guys and we're still going so at this point we're at eight now let me move on down so we're more square with the gel you can see right there right there it's where I first start to see it streamline and that's that eight inch mark that I was just at and then it's streamlined, 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 hits that second block of gel. Remember, I cut this section away so you could see. And then there is the bullet with that front edge right at 15 inches. Exactly 15 inches is where the front nose of this round facing forward is. And there we go. Nothing deformed. It looks like the bullet's all intact. Looks like you just throw it in another case and shoot it again. That's pretty wicked, guys, for a non-hollow point, no lead, compressed, copper, polymer, injected molded round. They're on to something here. I, I, I can tell you that. I mean, this video is probably not doing these wound, track, wound tracks as justice that they need, but that's pretty wicked. I would really like to see this in a hog or something. And see what kind of damage get these in some higher calibers maybe I can take these out hunting but that's a badass wound track guys that's right up there with some of the top tier hollow points not as wide and massive on the temporary cavity but still for something that's 56 grains compressed polymer plastic and copper compressed together with glue and injected molded that's that's gonna be hard to beat guys this might be the next the next thing I don't know I don't know how these are gonna take off but you don't have to worry about anything clogging a hollow point because there's no hollow point to clog this is using a new way of creating a wound channel you know all the I guess we call them quote unquote gimmick rounds I'm not going to put this in the gimmick category. This, this is pretty impressive. Let me know what you guys think at the bottom. I'll get some kind of post for you guys. <laughs>